I'm Vicki Fang and I am the author of the Layla and the Bot series. I am so excited to be here with Green Bean Books today for story time. I'm going to be reading from the latest Layla and the Bots book, Built for Speed. This is the second book in the series and I'm going to read a couple chapters and then tell you a little bit about what it's like writing this book. And then I'm going to show you how to build your very own balloon powered speedboat. So I think it's going to be fun. Let's get going. Okay, Layla and the Bots, Built for Speed. Ooh, let's see. Um, and this is illustrated by Christine Nishiyama. I'm going to start with chapter one. Meet Layla and the Bots. This is Layla. She is an inventor and a rock star. These are the bots, Beep, Boop, and Bop. They are part of Layla's crew. Beep knows things. Beep, a burst of air will make the confetti fly. Boop builds things. Needs more air. Bop codes things. Pop ready. Layla and the bots play music all around their town of Blossom Valley. This week, they are playing at the go-kart race. That is why they're excited to learn about things that go fast, like speedboats, zoom, darts, smooth flight, and cheetahs. Beep, cheetahs are the fastest land animal. Whenever Layla and the bots get together, awesome things happen. Chapter two, Fast Friends. On Monday morning, Layla and the bots are at the go-kart track. The big race is in five days and Layla and the bots will be playing at the finish line. This track is awesome. Look at those turns. Yipper Z! Good bumper walls. They check out the go-karts. Beep, the town ordered these brand new go-karts for the race. Shiny, so cool. Other kids start looking at the go-karts too, but then Layla sees one girl who looks frustrated. Layla walks over to her. Hi, I'm Layla. Hi, I'm Tina. Is everything okay? Not really. I'm a great racer, but these go-karts won't work for me. Why not? Tina explains that she has trouble moving her leg muscles. For example, I can't use the foot pedals in that go-kart. Hmm, I have an idea. Layla calls the bots over. Bots, Tina wants to race. Do you think we can fix up a go-kart for her? Sounds fun. Yahoo! Really? I'd love that. There must be a way Tina can join the race but what kind of go-kart does she need? Chapter three, quick fix. Layla and Bots look over a go-kart with Tina. How could we make this work for you? Tina explains, I need to control the gas and brake pedals with my hands, not my feet. Hand controls. And it'd be great to have an easy way to get in and out by myself. Easy access. That makes sense. I think we can do this. We'll just need to find a few parts to build with. Thanks, Layla. Bots, let's find some parts. Beep, the scrapyard is four blocks that way. Let's go. Layla and the bots head to the scrapyard. On the way, they make a list. Things that Tina's go-kart will need. One, hand-operated driving controls. Two, powered seat that will help her get into and out of the go-kart. They arrive at the scrapyard. Mayor Diaz is there too. She is frowning at the piles of junk. Hi, Mayor Diaz. That's a lot of junk. <laughs> Hi, Layla. What brings you here? We're looking for parts to build with. 
please take what you want. This mess is overflowing. Yippee! They pile up all the parts they need. Woo! We'll have this go-kart go up and running in no time. Get ready, bots. Tomorrow morning, we build. Chapter four, speed bumps. On Tuesday morning, Layla and the bots get ready in their workshop. Layla tucks a pencil behind her ear. Okay, bots, time to build. Beef studies the diagrams. Boop gathers her tools. Bop practices handstands while his computers boot up. First, Beep finds where to add the hand controls. They will go on the steering wheel. Boop connects them to the car. Bop codes the hand controls to work with the gas and brake. I love it. Then, Beep measures the height for a power seat. Boop builds the seat. Bop writes the code to move the seat into the perfect positions for Tina. Great work. When the go-kart is all hooked up, they are ready to test it out. Go, go, go! Boop starts up the go-kart. She pushes the gas. The motor growls, but the go-kart doesn't move. Beep, try again. No, go. What's wrong? Too heavy. Beep, the motor on the go-kart is just not strong enough to move all the new weight. Layla frowns at the heavy go-kart. It looks like this won't be so simple after all. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Um, that was chapter four. There are five more chapters in the book and you get to see how Layla and the bots figure out how to make the go-kart work for Tina. And they come up with some pretty wacky ideas. Um, so I hope you check out the book. I'm gonna tell you a little bit now about how I wrote it. So let me get some pictures to show you. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is what I was like as a kid, because a lot of times people are curious. Um, Uh, it's just loading one second. Okay. <laughs> Oops. So these are some pictures of me when I was a kid and you can see I was into gymnastics and singing and music and skiing uh, and I really liked drawing. And so I did lots of things when I got older. I was an actress, I was a game designer and I finally end up, ended up doing product design. And so what that means is that I created products, a lot like Layla and the bots do. So I um, made robots, I made buildings that played music when you held hands with people in the space, I made um, storybooks that play sound effects when you read them. So I invented all kinds of cool things with technology. So when I started writing books, I thought, how can I bring the excitement of invention to all sorts of people through stories. So I decided to write a book and the first thing I had to do was I had to do some investigation. So I read a lot of books. And you may know some of these books, they're great. So these are all Scholastic Branches books and that is who published Layla and Bots. And so I read a lot of those books to figure out what, what the books were like. How do I write a book like this? And the next thing I did was I thought about ideas. And a lot of people ask where the idea for Layla and the Bots came. And I had always had this idea about these 
robots that work together because I had been designing robots and thinking about them a lot. Um, but it wasn't until I read all those Scholastic Branches books that I had this idea of a rock star slash inventor. And the, the name Layla and the Bots came to me. And a lot of people also ask where the name Layla came from. Uh, and actually, I had a friend in school when I was younger, and her name was Layla. She didn't spell it the same way, but she was always really cool, and she did her own thing, and I really liked the name, and so that's how I picked the name Layla. So I came up with the name Layla and the Bots, and I drew some sketches. And so this was one of the early idea sketches that I had when I was writing the story. And I did not do the illustrations for these books. Christine Nishiyama did the illustrations, but a lot of times when I'm writing, I draw pictures to help me see what the characters are like and think about what they could be and how they are. So that was step two, is coming up with the idea. And then step three, writing. Writing, writing, writing as much as I could. Um, so I wrote the first draft pretty quickly, and then I spent a lot of time on step four, which is improving and revising the story. And then I sent the story off to Scholastic, and they liked it, and they ended up finding Christine. And this is what one of Christine's early sketches looks like. So one of the first sketches, and then you can see that this is what the final art looks like. And after a long time, it, uh, it became a real book. And now they're books that you can hold. Um, and so that's really exciting to me because in a lot of ways, I feel like writing is a lot like inventing. You investigate an idea or a problem, you come up with an idea, you implement it, and then you improve it. And you keep going around until it gets better and better and better until it becomes a real book. And so something that's just in your head that doesn't exist, comes from nothing, turns into something that you can hold and share and read. Um, and that's what I love about writing. Okay, so that is Layla and the Bots. That's built for speed. That's how I became a writer. And now we get to build a balloon speedboat. Okay, so here's what you need. You need a juice box that is empty because hopefully you drank the juice already. Um, a straw from the juice box. Uh, a pair of scissors, a rubber band, some tape and a balloon. Okay, so the first thing you do, and you can see I already started this a little bit, is you're gonna unfold your juice box. And some of them fold in different ways, but they should all be able to unfold. So you have one side now that you sort of flatten out. Like this. And it's gonna sit on the water like this. Okay. And you take your straw and you're going to snip off the little pointy end so that it doesn't poke your balloon. And you're going to put the long end inside the balloon like this. And then this part's a little tricky, but you're going to wrap the rubber band to hold it, hold the balloon on the straw. And you have to get it a little bit tight so that the air can't come out of the balloon. If you have a smaller rubber band, you don't have to wrap it around as many times, but this is the only rubber band I have right now. <laughs> oh, and so I should mention that in the back of every Layla and the Bots book, there is an activity that you can make at home. Um, and this is the activity that's in the back of Built for Speed. In the back of Happy Paws, there is a marble run and make your own marble roller coaster. Okay, so now this is gonna be the engine for our balloon car, I mean, our balloon boat. Um, okay, so 
The next thing is that I'm going to attach the motor onto my boat like this. So it's going to sit in the water and this is going to sit inside the water. And when we blow up the balloon, as the air rushes out, it's going to push air out and create motion that way. So I want to tape it on like this. I'm going to grab a pretty long piece of tape because, you know, tape's not great in water. So I, I grab a piece like this. And I don't know if I can do this on the camera, but I'll tape it and then show you. So like, ah, I'm dripping juice. <laughs> okay, so I taped it on like this. And you'll see in the water, um, you kind of want this pointing straight for it to go straight, but you'll see what happens. If it doesn't point straight, it'll move in different ways and you can uh, experiment and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the camera and take you to my bathroom. This is the beauty of virtual visits. You can't do this in a classroom. Okay, one second. Okay, hi, you're in my bathroom. I have my balloon boat. I'm gonna blow it up and I'm gonna cover the straw with my finger so the air doesn't escape and then we're gonna see if it goes. I hope it goes. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my finger over here and put it in the water. Oh, I don't know if I can do it with this hand. And I'm gonna let go. There it goes! So that is our balloon powered speedboat. I hope you enjoy making it. I hope you check out the books and have a great day. It was really fun doing story time with you.